caught this video on pressing in Perry's Instagram. I got tagged. Apparently, he stopped by and paid our Miami camp a visit. He had Officer Tazar, a mighty priest in the Most High God. Tom. I get tagged in this video. But if I don't get tagged, uh, Tazar, your Taz, he sent it to me. Right? He sent it to me. Apparently, this brother is an author. He's got a book. His book is called Preston Perry, How to Tell the Truth. Mm. Interesting. How to Tell the Truth. Right? He's given all glory to the Most High God. Interesting. So, you know, he was having a, a day out on South Beach. What day was this? Uh, this was Saturday. It was Saturday. All oh, praise. So this is the brother who he was dealing with. This was this past Saturday. Um, Maxine. So we good. This is past Saturday in uh in South Beach. Right, so apparently Preston was uh celebrating his birthday. <laughs> Somebody said, bro, I know them shrimps didn't <laughs> fill you up. Interesting. Pastor was trying to stay above water. So apparently he is if a pastor. He's somebody's pastor. You see that Jackie Hill Perry right there? Sorry. Okay, so that's what somebody said. Is that Jackie Hill Perry's husband? Yeah. Well, uh, it's been confirmed, I believe, that that is, in fact, Jackie Hill Perry's husband. I don't know if this is helping. No, it didn't. It didn't do it how I wanted to do it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I was waiting on it to flip. It, ain't it didn't flip. Okay. It, some of this must just be for the recording. No, I'm starting to understand. It's all right. We're going to put the mirror back on there. Boom! All right, my fault, y'all. So, uh, afterwards, he made this post, and this is the video I was tagged in. Can I stop it? Yes. He said, last night, me and fellas, me and fellas, the fellas, brother, me and fellas were walking on South Beach after dinner. As we were walking by, I told myself I wasn't going to stop and talk unless they spoke to me first. As we were walking by, they pointed at me and started talking to me directly. The rest was history. He said, shout out to Philip A. Mitchell for holding it down with me and the rest of my brothers in Christ. And he, he tags a few gentlemen. Um, Sakari Vice City, our Miami camp, tagged him and said, we'd love to get you in a live conversation. No yelling, no over talking, just talking about these topics. Lover Boy Toon, beautiful uh, comment. He says, excuses for not to keep the law. Shout out to my brother, Spiritual Shooter. This is my brother for many, many years. He said, peace and mercy unto you, Brother Preston. Quite simply, what was demonstrated here is in this discourse on your behalf was pseudo-profoundness. How can you claim to keep the law, proceed to number a couple of commandments like adultery and fornication, which adultery is fornication. Fornication is an encompassing term that compasses all laws concerning sexual immorality. Right. Uh, but in <laughs> interpreted Throughout your stories and page, you are openly transgressing that same law. Wow. By eating abominations such as shrimp, lobster, etc. This is utter madness. You either endeavor to keep the commandments or you do not. Christianity is a farce, requires innumerable fictitious apologetic terms and verbal gymnastics to attempt to betress the dogmatic doctrine, which ultimately muddles the simplicity that is Christ. Repent as we all must do and have done. Just well said. Yeah, that's pretty well, well said. said by my brother. Just wow. He is a poet, man. He is a poet, literally, is what he does. He is, <laughs> he is literally a poet. Shout out to Zoom said, bro, bro, you're yapping <laughs> <laughs> and not making any points. So I, of course, give kudos to my young priest, officer of 5,000 in the Sakari. Uh, Tazar said he torched him. Uh, the Brother Spiritual Truth says the campaign for Christianity, especially in matters akin to this, brother so grossly espouses his position of understanding reeks of hubris. Interesting, right? Um, it said I had two replies, but this is the only one I see. So, okay, that's cool. Uh, shout out to the Brother Tazar's wife. Um, she said, Hebrew Israelites are the only ones that teach to keep the law and actually keep the law. A lot of people can't accept because it goes against their fleshly desires. And I, I had a, a, there's a couple comments I made here. I made this one. I said, if you keep the law, you're righteous. If you keep the law because you're righteous, why aren't you keeping the law? And this is going to make sense here in a second. Why I, I made that question. I said that question. And there was one, oh, this dude right here, this, uh, this, 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 this simple brother right here, he says, when you've got the truth, you don't have to do a bunch of yelling to be powerful. Is what he said, right? 
So I asked a, a simple question. I said, so how did Jesus talk to thousands of people at once? Of course, this is before the advent of the microphone or, you know, any vocal amplification devices. How was that possible? How was that achievable um, in the time of Christ? That was just my question, yeah. right? That was just my question. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, you know, but anyway. So let, I'm going I'm to let y'all see this first, and then we actually have the exclusive um, uh, conversation in full uh, via, of course, Sakari Vice City, Sakari Miami. Um, this is out before it's even on their channel. You're going to be able to see it here first through the Spirit and Power of Mozart. Duh. So let's go. Yeah. But that's after the fact. He's, he from he's saying that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you just talk about Romans 7? Say what? Did you talk about Romans 7? Yes, we're talking about you and no, Romans 7. Okay. I, I Let's Romans go to verse 7. Seven. Go to verse 7. I, I go, explained go Romans 7, 7. And you went to Matthew. Go to Romans verse 7. I, no. Rome, I go to Romans verse 7. 7, verse 7. Go to Romans verse 7, verse 7. And I read did. It. I broke it down. I don't know. Read it again. And then you didn't explain what verse 1 means. No, no, I did. You didn't explain what verse 1 means. So try and be bound. And what do And this is what I ask you a question, right? In America, you can divorce with your woman at any time, right? right but it sure. literally just said, in the, it just, let me finish. It literally just said I'm gonna let you that, uh, let you that she can't leave hold on, hold on. unless her husband dies. Right. right. That's not in America. So where is it talking about? Where is that law at? Wait, wait. No, no, no. That's a good question. Where is that law? And, and what, this is why I say he tortured. That was such a profound question. Okay. So if the law is done away with, why is Paul telling Romans and iterating to them a message based on a law if they're no longer keeping it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because that wasn't the Roman custom for marriage. That's, so That's not the American custom for marriage. That is the Israelite, that is the Hebraic marriage custom. Predicated upon the teachings of Christ. So where are we getting Rome from? I mean, where, where are we getting this law from that he's writing the Rome, to the Romans? That was a very profound question that in this very short clip, I don't see Pastor Preston Perry address. Now we're going to take a look at the whole thing, which I haven't seen in totality, and we're going to assess whether he does. I'm not confident that he, that he, he, uh, that he addresses it. He can't because when you have a self-defeating ideology, every, you're, you're, there's only so far you can walk before you're going to fall. You, your, your, your ideology is an enemy to itself. Right. It's an enemy to itself. So let's, let's, let's take yeah, a look. Yeah, that's a dagger. Dag cold dagger. Cold, cold dagger. dagger. Hello, because in America, you can divorce your woman. You can marry at 12 a.m., right? Wait, wait, wait. No. You can divorce no, no, no. at 1 a.m. Wait, wait. Where does that law come from? The law comes from the first five books of the Bible. Wait, can we talk Let me explain. I'm not listening no, wait, to you. No. Just no. Ask you just asked the question. He's about to ask you. 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 Don't they, it, they, they, they don't they don't want to address what was just said can we talk of course you can talk but i'm making a point right now when you talk can you be sure to address the point i just made yeah. and you guys don't want to do that obviously for obvious reasons oh my god yo man he go getting it though i'm answering the question bro can i explain what you just said can I get the explanation? I'm asking you, how can America, right? right. In, in America, you can divorce a woman whenever, right? Wait, 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 wait. So what law is he talking about? Wait, okay, so can I explain without you interrupting? Well, I, we did that already. Look, let, 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 let me, let me, let me. Wait, go wait go everybody be quiet. I'm going to explain. First of all, first of all, for you to ask a question that was written in a different century in the East, in, in the Eastern part of the world is all, automatic. Okay, so... Preston Perry, right? Um, you, you, I don't want to. Can, can you pull up his Instagram real quick for me on your phone? Because I, I, I don't want to get out the video and lose. Because you know you can't. You know we we don't need to lose a spot. This this dude just showed how unintelligent he is right there, right? I'm gonna show y'all. That's crazy. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, so, so he's, he's son of God, husband, father, teacher, apologist, poet, author. Okay, so he's author. He doesn't speak to his um, educational background. I'm sure, you know, he is possibly educated to some degree, yeah. at least seminary. Yeah. 
the man just came out of his mouth, right, and said, you're, you're comparing us something written to an Eastern. No. The East. The East. It's the book of Romans, Pastor Perry. Romans is literally the founding place of the Western world, Western ideology. The concept of the West yeah. starts yeah. where the book was written. Yeah. So, no, it's not in the eastern part of the world. Right. It is literally, by definition, <laughs> in the western part of the world. A you are a pseudo-intellectual, brother. I, that's what the brother spiritual shooter was talking about. Pseudo profoundness. <sighs> pseudo, 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 pseudo profoundness. So let's just, the Western world, the Western world, also known as the West, primarily refers to various nations and states in the region of Australasia, Western Europe, right. and Northern America. Right? right? With some debate that those in Eastern Europe and Latin America also constitute as the West. But the point is, Western Europe. Let's just, Western Europe is the Western region of Europe. The region's extent varies depending on context. The concept of the West appeared in Europe juxtaposition to the East and originally applied to the ancient Mediterranean world, the Roman Empire. <laughs> and med medieval Christendom. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Perry. This is imperison. All right? <laughs> you can't you you can't do this, man. You can't be this accomplished pastoral author and make a fool pie like that. Brother, you just can't do it, man. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, it's bad game. Okay, let's go. Let's watch a little more. Honestly, uh, out of contextualization. Right. Because, wait, 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 in Jesus' yeah. culture, right, in the first and second century, when a man, when a, when a, when a husband dies, that woman is released from her husband in the Jewish culture. Right. So he's using contextual proof right. in that particular time. He said, in the same way, you are bound, you are married to the law. Right. But once, but, but, but once you have died to the law, you are married to another. Who is that another? That, oh, wait, 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 let me explain. Right. That other is the one who died on behalf of you who kept the law perfectly because you couldn't keep it. And when you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you're the person to take it. You are, you are dead to the law, and now you have a new covenant in Jesus. That's what he means. That's what, what he means. That's what he means. So, okay, 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 okay. But from, from all the babbling that you just did, right? right? No, that's not babbling. No, no, no. I'm about to say that. I'm about to say that. I'm about to say that. You know what? Because, but you don't okay, have to disrespect that man So are you saying, like that, right? are you saying, no, no, no. are you saying, are you saying Christ? Was saying something different than what Paul said that no. the woman didn't. Bro, okay. you don't no, 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 you gotta follow his footsteps, right? Christ followed. So the man agrees. You have to follow. If you're a follower of Christ, you have to follow Christ's footsteps. Yeah. Tremendous. You have to follow his footsteps. Yeah. Okay. So, what did he do? How did he live? How can you follow somebody's footsteps without following their footsteps? Right. <laughs> I mean, that's the question. How does one follow somebody's footsteps? Without following somebody's footsteps. Right, saying his footsteps and his sayings, man. Come on, bro. So Christ admittedly followed the laws of Moses. That's what he followed. You're supposed to follow him, but you don't follow the laws of Moses. Right. But you're saying he followed it to fulfill it for us. So then how do we follow him? How can you follow him without following him? That's like saying I follow <laughs> Preston Perry, but I didn't click follow on Instagram. You never clicked follow on the man. <laughs> you be checking his page out. Yeah. You be watching what he do. Yeah. But you don't do what he do. You doesn't you don't truly follow what he does. Right. And keep that no. perfect. Then you gotta follow Christ, because how do you follow you somebody? Can't keep I literally the law. doing what they did. Oh, you but you're not doing that. Oh my god. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Then why did Christ tell us yeah. to be perfect? Let me, let me why 
why did why why did Philippians four and thirteen says we can do anything in the strength of Christ? So this brother don't believe in that scripture. He about to explain it. No, no, no. He about to explain it. You don't want you don't want that explanation. No, no, no. When I see <laughs> Tazar argue, I don't understand the tribe of Levi. Um, we're all the same. <laughs> I'm looking like this is look like I argue. All right, and he didn't get that from me. <laughs> we both got that from uh, the man Levi. All right, <laughs> Lord and Christ, <laughs> all of it, just everything about it, man. <laughs> You don't want that explanation? I, 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 okay, I, I, let him explain. When you ask the question, are you going to allow him to give? Answer. Can I answer, can I answer, I answer the question? Answer the question. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to speak over you, bro. You will ask the question. You did it already. No, no. no. no, no listen, nothing's better <laughs> or worse, truthfully, than when you having this back and forth with somebody yeah. and you give them the floor and then they proceed to tell you, how they're not going to talk over you. Listen, I've already given you the floor, man. Yeah. Just say what you got to say, bro. Yeah. Why are we doing all this? Because I got more to say. <laughs> so, I got plenty to say. Let's get to it. Use your time wisely. Like my brother Christian Corey said, man, let's be getting to it, bro. God. We ain't doing all these games. No, you're going to ask the question. You got the mic, too, remember? You're going to ask the question. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, uh, wait. wait. You're you going to ask the question. We finna you, ask. You're going to ask the question, and I'm going to answer your question. Right. Nobody talk. Right. When, when the person says that we. That was about the softest nobody talk I've ever heard in my life. Nobody. And he said, Tell talk. your man be in order. He said, Nobody talk. This is somebody's husband? Christ, let's go. <laughs> we are dead to the law. No, you're not answering my question. I'm about to ask you. I said, How are you a follower of Christ you're not following what Christ is doing? Wait, wait. You follow the laws wait, of Moses. And he literally said to be perfect and we can do anything in the strength of Christ. I have so an idea. Why are you not doing that? I have an idea. Answer that question. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you not wait, doing that? What's your name, bro? Why are you running around wait, in circles? Now name? you got the mic. What's Let him answer. I, I don't have the mic. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 bro, what's your name? Yes. Yes. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, bro, what's your name? I have, I have an idea, which might help us. After I get done with my point, and you say, man, he got done with his whole point, and then after my question, then you, then you hold me accountable. No, right? And you can do that. Here's why I don't like to do that, because. What you guys try to do while you're doing that is you're telling me to allow you to get away with yeah, and not address the topic. Get away with and not address the topic. Right. I'm cool off allowing you to get away with right. for you to throw jabs in, for you to muddy the waters, for you to move the goalposts, for right. you to attempt to change the topic or steer the conversation right. in a straw man's direction because you feel more confident in the straw man than you do in the actual topic. This is why I step on people in conversations. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm aggressive and assertive in conversations because if you don't, if you do not operate like that, people will run away with the conversation. Right. They'll run away with it. And you can't allow them to do that. All right? We got points to make. We got points to prove. These niggas are running. Yeah. I'm not letting people teach. run. <laughs> yeah. We're not, we, we don't do that, man. Yeah, I was, okay. saying, we, I was saying, we got truth to teach. Mm -hmm. You just, like you said, like Taz said, you just yapping. <laughs> you finna just yap, and we're trying to actively get the truth out. Literally. Yeah, man. Very literally. But, but in the first five seconds, and you say, I didn't answer your question, that's not fair to me. You didn't do that. So Wait, not, yeah, yeah, you, you did. You did. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Let's do it. All right, let's just We watched him put the mic down and let him talk, though. That We witnessed that. Let's, let's run, run it. New way. New way. As soon as, I, as soon as I talk, you try to answer your question. Are we going to give me time? Back. We're going to do it now. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let, let's, let's just do it. Let's start over. Let's start over. Let me let's just start explain over. to you. Brand new, brand new. When the Christian says that we are we, we, we are now bound by the law, what we are not saying, wait, wait, let me say this. Let me finish. Let me finish. finish. Let me finish. <laughs> what we are not saying is that we are lawless people. I keep the law. I keep the law. And so I don't, I don't, I don't, I commit fornication. I don't commit adultery. I don't do all of these things, right? 
Name one thing. Name the same thing twice. Mm-hmm. Essentially. Arguably a few <laughs> a few more things when you put the blanket term, but you don't know that to be what it really exactly. is. Exactly. Fornication. You, yeah. you think you think fornication is sex before marriage exactly. and adultery is sex outside of marriage. Exactly. If you're married. That's what you think. And that's the only law that you can say that you're keeping. <laughs> wow. Right? But he just said he kept he keeps the law, y'all. He said that. Yeah, he did. Christian, I keep the law. It is the difference between keeping the law and keeping the law in order to be a righteous. There it is. That is the difference. Uh-huh. This, this, this is crazy. Y'all, this is so crazy, <laughs> right? Because who cares why we're saying, oh, I can see why you would say you care. But the question isn't why anyone keeps the law. That's not the question. Why we keep the law. The question is, do you keep the law? Not what your motives to it. Not whether you think it's going to make you righteous or whether you think through Christ you're righteous so you do the righteous works. Regardless of what your motivation is, the question at hand is do, not the why. Do you keep the commandments of God? That's the question. Go ahead, yeah, right after Yahweh Shai, Matthew 5, right? Matthew 5, starting at verse 19 in the NKJV. He said, Whosoever therefore breaks one of these least, breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Boom. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Watch this. For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Okay, so... What was the standard for righteousness for the scribes and Pharisees? <laughs> Keeping, Keeping the, the law. commandment. So, so he's literally saying, to to the, in order to receive the title of righteousness, a righteousness that supersedes the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you have to do and teach people to keep the commandments. Yes. Do it and teach it. Both. To be righteous. Yeah. It, with the intent of being righteous. Mm-hmm. You're talking about there's a difference between keeping the law and keeping the law to be righteous. The goal is to keep the law to be righteous. What are we talking about? I mean, that's what the man taught who you say, you know, believe you believe suffered, died, uh, uh, was buried and rose for you. Right. You, you're a Trinitarian. You believe that he is the most high. Well, that's what he said. When does it change? What's hard? That, that's in this plain. That's plain right there. Right. Right. Go ahead. It says, for I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. You cannot enter the kingdom of heaven if your righteousness does not exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees by their standard. That is the clear message that who you call Christ is giving. Real name, Yahweh Shai. That is the clear message that he is declaring right there in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter. That's the start of his ministry. Oh, my. That's a foundational message of Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai. That's a foundational message. And what he said, because because brother uh Hebrew Castiel, um, he says, I'm confused. What the hell is he saying? What he's saying is this, I that I don't keep the law because I think it's gonna make me righteous. Because faith in Jesus makes me righteous, I keep the law. So he's saying instead of feeling convicted and keeping the law to try to get right with God, he believes in Jesus, so he's now compelled to keep the law because he's already been made right with God. That's what he's saying. Uh, But that's a lie because he doesn't keep the law. Right. That's, again, uh, just because you don't commit fornication, does not mean you don't break a laundry list of other laws. Right. You can never commit any form of sexual immorality in your life and still kill somebody. Right. You can never commit any form of sexual immorality in your life and still eat abominations. And, 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 and you would still be a what? A sinner, a lawbreaker, a criminal. A transgressor. A transgressor. Yeah. That's what you would be. 
right? So let's let's go a little bit more on this, and then we're going to get into the actual video. Let me let me break it down to you. I don't keep the law to be made righteous. I keep the law because, because I have been made righteous. Right, right, right. It's the difference, but that's what you don't understand. Right. When Jesus Christ came into our life as our personal Savior, He empowers us to keep the law. And so cool. So why don't you do it? Right. That's the question. If you've been empowered by Jesus Christ, who is your personal Lord and Savior, to keep the law, why don't you keep the law? It's a simple question. For me keeping the law is not me trying to be made right. Correct. It's so evidence. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Let's be real. Wait, no, no. Let me explain. Let me, let me explain. Let me, let me explain. No, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me keeping the law. Wait, wait. He didn't even answer my question. No, he's about to. I didn't get done with my point. Patience, bro. Me keeping the law. Go, go, what you gonna say? I was just, it's crazy. They, the dude recording tells him it's hard to have patience and be in the spirit, right? What you telling? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy how he telling him to be patient, but he ain't been patient. Right this now. dude doing all that. That's crazy. Clapping like auntie. Not because I'm trying to be made righteous. Me keeping the law is evidence that I've been made righteous. It's okay, so why don't you keep it? <laughs> is if, if if the evidence that you've been made righteous is you keeping the law, why don't you keep it's simple. Right. Why don't you do it? Evidence that I'm being made righteous. Right. Me keeping the law is worship. And so and so and so what happens is when somebody Angel Kiro said, look at look at this. Preston in these trenches fighting for the faith. They're on South Beach. <laughs> They're on South Beach. He was having a birthday dinner with a bunch of the guys, and brothers called him out. Okay, yeah. don't ease in these trenches. All right, we weren't in North Miami where the school is. Right. Okay, little Haiti, little Havana. Okay, Liberty City. Right. We weren't in. We was in. It was in South Beach. Okay, yeah. in these trenches. <laughs> it's a rarity of them, like, this not a normal thing for them to be able to do, uh, teaching the word. Uh, they feel like this is a big deal. That South Beach is the trenches now. <laughs> 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 to, hey man, to the pre to the priest you talking to, man, this is just a, a casual, regular Saturday night. You're not the most impressive person he's had to battle. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Except Jesus Christ is that per personal savior. He empowers us to live holy, right? And so this is the reason why. Oh, get that precept too on what it is holy, because he said he was empowered to live holy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I agree, Yahweh Shai Christ empowers us to be holy. So why aren't you holy? Jesus came on your behalf, right? Because the, the problem was never the law. The problem was that, that we, you, and nobody in this world was, wasn't good enough to keep it. Not true, but okay. And so somebody had to come and keep it perfectly right. on your behalf. And so when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, exactly. who kept the law perfectly for you, so, 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 nobody right. 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 So I, 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 I called down to Florida, right? I called down to my great officer priest, Tazar. So I said, Tazar, I need that video because yeah. I want to see how you do I, 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 I see his face. I know he, he, he had to smash them into a million pieces with the, with the hammer of Judas Maccabeus. Yeah. I know he had to slice them into a million pieces with the machete of Dessaline. I know he did. Right, and I just had to see it, and I couldn't wait for them to drop it. I had to have them expedite it tonight, just for this live class tonight. So we got it, y'all. <laughs> oh, y'all, we got it. Yes, exclusive. This is what we got to understand. The Lord is always going to be able to come back. Because every time the blacks and Spanish Native Americans, we are the Israelites, we are superb. The way that we're dressing right now is not a new thing. We've been had gold, we've been had all these different things, even in the Bible. Isn't the book of Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 10? Thy cheeks are comely. Thy cheeks are comely. Thy cheeks are comely, right? And what's your cheek, right? 
So that's gang. Okay, that 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 Pastor Perry came with. Okay. Yeah. That's gang. All right, I see y'all. <laughs> You see, bro, on the black shirt right here, yeah. he's been nervous from the jump. Yeah. He's been sweating from the jump. He wants to abort mission. Yeah. Ball head, black shirt right here. Yeah. Uh-huh. You see, yo, he was the one in the cut doing it, doing all them extras. Yeah. He been wanting to abort mission the whole. He looks so uneasy right now. Yeah. He looks so uneasy right now. Why do you look so shook, bro? He might be dumb drunk for real. You, I don't know what's going on. But bro look a little scared. Yeah. Bro look a little intimidated by the men of God on an intellectual and spiritual level. Yeah. We just came to the bait, bro. We don't we don't want violence. Don't want violence. <laughs> he gave us that answer already. Put on the show. Matthew 19. That's a beautiful question. Because that's the most important. I see you I see you like a Jesus Christ. Right? So that means Christ is a big he means something to you in your life, right? So let me show you what Christ said uh, on how we can receive salvation, how we can receive eternal life. Right? Philip A. Mitchell, he was looking less. Philip A. Mitchell was looking so shook. This dude right here, gospel advocate. He found to. He said he NYC and ATL. I mean, he was looking so scared. Why was you so scared, Brother Phil? Uh -huh. It's the book of Matthew, uh -huh. chapter 19 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold. Right. One came and said unto him, so back, so somebody came to Christ. Wait, 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 wait. Good master, yes, what? good master, read. what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? He said, what should I do to have eternal life, right? And this is what he said, you know? <clears throat> so, verse 17, uh -huh. and he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Right. There is none good right. but one, one that is God. If thou wilt enter into life, right. keep the commandments. What? Keep, keep the, the commandments. Keep what? Keep the commandments. If thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So notice, I want you to peep. Dude right here with the white man on his shirt was listening very intently. All of a sudden, now he's not. Let's just watch. Let's watch how this happens. Right? We went back in the spirit to 144. Huh. Ain't that something? All right, I'll pray. Let's go. But what? That is God. You see, he looks off. He's listening. You know why he's listening, but he knows that scripture. He's re he's recollecting it right now. Yeah. So he knows where this is going. It's the exclamation point of the commandments. Watch this. But if thou wilt enter into life, right? keep the commandments. What? Keep the commandments. What? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, did we see the veracity he he looked away with? He just he's cut to the heart. The word of God <laughs> is sharper than any two-edged sword, of card, cutting to the departing, dividing asunder of the soul. soul huh? <laughs> the soul. The soul. You see that? So they ask his name later. He's already introduced. They asked his name on his video. Yeah. He's already introduced himself very early in the conversation. Yeah. Right. 
So we, <laughs> we know it was definitely a tactic trying to get me to stop talking. Exactly. Yeah. We, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or you just didn't care to remember when I told it to you. With the full handshake and everything. See that? But you're supposed to be a man in Christ. Let me ask you a couple questions. Now look at him. Let me ask you a couple questions. Now look. We, we, and to this point, you, you, you've you asked a question. Yeah. You got your question answered with the mouth of Jesus Christ. Period, and right? You, and, you igno- and you ignored it. And you and you you didn't combat it. Exactly. Even though it disagrees with your philosophy and ideology. Yeah. You're now going to ask more questions. Okay, cool. Go ahead. And I didn't see the video neither, but mind you, Tazar didn't answer the question with his own words. No, yes. He read the book and didn't read say letter. anything, meaning... He, he didn't try to come with some know. eloquent, like this dude did. Yeah. Man, he know what that meant. Yeah. Man, he might go into some other stuff right now. <laughs> 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 Listen, that's not what Jesus just said. But like I said, okay, so then why don't you do it? That's the only question. You can try to argue intention. But last I checked, God, the most high, is he who tries the reins of the heart, the intents of man. We can't know what's going on in anybody's brain. Truthfully, right. you could be in front of somebody, they could be smiling, joking, laughing with you and be a serial killer uh. and be plotting on how to end your life. Right. That's possible. People have done it. Yeah. Right? I know, man, I know a brother, man, he uh, coming up out of that Brooklyn, New York. Um, he was in Rikers Island. Um, this he was a, At the time, he was a five percenter. He, and a nigga put a hit out on him on the yard. So some five percenters, other five percenters walked up on him, kicked it with him, talked to him, asked him what's the mathematics today, okay, but, and then made a move on him. <laughs> right? So we can never know what is in the heart of a man. That's yeah. for the most how to judge. Yeah. Um, like scripture said, "Let's we can guess at our neighbor. Mm-hmm. We can just guess we, at yeah, our we neighbor. can guess at our neighbor. Yeah. We can we can analyze things. We can take a look at our life experience and deduce what's going on in people's mind. And sometimes yeah. people, will, but even when somebody admits something, does that really mean they admitted it? We don't know. We can yeah. only guess. Yeah. We can only take people at their words and what yeah. we can prove. And we cannot prove the thoughts that go on in a man's mind." I remember there was an infamous killer named BTK. Beat them, tortured him, killed him. He was up there, I think. Sheesh. He's in the Midwest. And you know that he got away with all kind of murders. Hold on, man. Let's read about BTK real quick. Don't cut it look like the, the pops off the 70s show? Yes. <laughs> he was married. Yeah. Had two kids. Uh-huh. No, but watch this. Look, he was... <laughs> He was doing ADT. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's good. In many cases, his clients were concerned homeowners seeking security from him. That's See good. what I'm saying? From his own BTK <laughs> killings. Bro. That's great. Do you understand? He became a census field <laughs> operations. <laughs> Collecting all the data he wanted, bro. Right he the nigga that is, is installing security in your house. He's coming to your house to let to find out who all lives there. Yes, bro. Yes. This is bad, man. He was became a dog catcher and compliance officer. <laughs> he in this position, neighbors recalled him as being sometimes overzealous <laughs> and extremely strict, as well as taking special pleasure in bullying and harassing single women. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> One neighbor complained that Raider killed her dog for no reason. What? Now, look, this is my point. Oh, he's a dog. Raider was a member of the Christian Lutheran Church in Wichita. At one point, was elected president of the church council. What? And he was also a Cub Scout leader. Oh, my God, bro. You see what I'm saying? You don't know <laughs> what's going on, who yeah. you're dealing with. Yeah, yeah. You don't know. I never let my son get <laughs> You know, they, they've been getting ready to shut the Cub Scouts down, man. It's been way, yeah. way too many scandals over there nah, at man. the Cub Scouts. But... Just to show you, so 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 we don't know. So so the question is, 
It's the same thing. Give me James 2. It's the same thing that James says in James 2. 144, too. Mm. Praise the Lord. 144, all praises. Is it? That's crazy. By partiality, what are we talking about? Two and twenty. You, you shall show me. I will show you my faith, faith by, by my, my works. works. I got you. Uh, oh, vain man. Come on. This is the book of uh, James, chapter 2, starting at verse 18. But someone will say, You have faith, and I have works. Uh-huh. Show me your face. Faith without your works, okay. and I will show you my faith by my works. I will show you my faith by my works. Right. So w- we need to see your works. If what you're saying is true, how we est- excuse me, how we establish the truth in it is by your works. Yeah, congruency. So you're telling me yeah. you keep the law. I don't. Okay, you're saying you do for whatever reason. You do as an evidence of what. Okay, cool. Where is it? Show me you keep the law. The man literally had just got done breaking the law. He was admittedly out to dinner celebrating his birthday. Celebrating your birthday, you already breaking the law, right, number one, yeah. right? But let's say you have a, oh, well, I, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to let you have that. Right. Because shrimp, that's off the table, right? That is an emphatic violation of the laws of God. Right. A direct sin. That's what you did. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right? You got shrimp on your breath and you're saying that you keep the law. With shrimp on your breath. With abomination. Hold on. Y'all don't, y'all don't hear me though. Again, right, 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 here he right, is. Right. This is the that, outfit. Go that, uh, collage. I really want to understand the royal blue hat with the pink, like, brother. I don't see it. It's a good hat. It's yeah. a good shirt. It's a dope shirt. If I was you, I would have had a hat and, and New Era has launched, you know, I'm a hat guy. New Era has launched a whole line of hats. In all colors that I see here, I see I see the pink here, okay, the salmon, right? I see this yellowish color, and I see this seafoam green. They got a whole line of hats this color, yeah. literally. You, that's what you really should have done, and, and you're a pastor, so I know you got it. <laughs> I know you got it, brother, right? But what did he, what, what did he, this is what he just, this was on his breath. On, uh, something that God called an abomination. Shrimp and chives. Right? <laughs> God called his shrimp and chives, <laughs> smothered shrimp and, and chives. <laughs> God calls this an abomination. That's what God calls this. Yeah. Right? And you have this on your breath, and you're saying that you keep the law of God. Right. How truly insane is that? <laughs> Nate, Nate Ducash had a gender reveal outfit. <laughs> Love the sister Nate. A gender reveal outfit. And it still doesn't match. I hey listen, I wore pink and blue to a gender reveal before. Yeah. About, about a year ago, but it, everything matched from the head to the toe. This this brother, I, you you don't have any his, royal blue on. His shoes don't even make sense. His shoes look like 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 black and white or something. Okay, so no no. You see he's got those are those are it's the off pink, but it's it, it's not even the same as the shirt. Yeah. I'll gi- I I'll give you the pass on it. But that hat, come on, bro. Blue, though, you, know, yeah. <laughs> you got too much money to try and fail like that. You're a pastor. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Right? Do you understand what that means? I, I understand. I understand. Right? Do you understand what that means? Do you understand what that means? Let me tell you something. I don't disagree with the statement that you said, but let me tell you something. Yeah, dude, what does Cesar say? I do not uh, disagree with the statement that you said. So he's informing him that there's not a disagreement with the statement. Right, but the brother's going to continue. This is the problem that people have. They separate the law from Christ. They don't understand believing in Christ is in the law of Right, right, right. right. It is not in 18. But you can't separate them because they're one and the same. Because let me show you. Because a lot of people. Because isn't Christ the word of God? If he is the word of God and he said that every you shall live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, which would include the law, then there's no separating him from the law, then he is the law, then you can't keep the law and deny him, nor can you deny the law and say that you follow or believe in him. You've got that misconception. Bro, can I, can I ask you a question? Here, 
Brother Mitchell. What's the, what's the brother name? I want I want to get his name. Let's see the brother's name. <laughs> Mitchell. Mitchell. Uh, the brother's name is Philip. Yeah. Brother Phil. Brother Phil here is getting emotional. He's trying to muddy the waters now. He want to come and throw a question in. I'm literally with. So so just to be clear. Preston Perry asked Priest Tazar a question, right? Priest Tazar answered the question with red letter. Preston then responded. Tazar is now in the midst of responding to Pastor Preston Perry, and now uh, Brother Phil here is trying to uh, distract, deviate, uh, redirect the conversation, keep it away, misdirect the conversation, rather. No, 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 no. Allow me to respond to Preston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show this brother one thing. Let me show you what the law says about Christ. I don't know if you know this. I appreciate y'all reacting. But I appreciate it. Bring this up to the person. No, I appreciate y'all, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18 and verse 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
the bro, the brother just said, okay. Right. He had no problem with it. Okay. Let me pull this Romans 7 up too, man, because it's yeah. a good chapter. It is. Great It's a chapter. raw chapter for real. You no know, raw chapter. Okay, let me pull it up because we're going to hit it. In the book of Romans chapter 7, verse 1. Bring it up. Know ye not, brethren, right? for I speak to them that know the law. Yeah, he said he, said he speaks to them that know the law. Know the law. So keep in mind. Know the law. Know the law. Know the law. Keep going. Know the law. Keep going. Keep going. How that the law has dominion, dominion over a man as long as he liveth. Right. No, no, no. Right, right, right. Let's stop there. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why can't we do a verse by verse? Right. I want to do a verse by verse. He said, let's stop there. Why is he saying I speak to those who know the law? Yeah. If the Romans are Gentiles, why wouldn't they know the law? I mean, why would they, why know, would the they know the law? Why would he speak to people who shouldn't know the law right. and tell them I'm speaking to people who know the law? And, and, <laughs> and. If these are people who, who feel as though the law is irrelevant, why do they know the law? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to people that know the law. Amazing <laughs> point. <laughs> Amazing <laughs> point. <laughs> There's no reason for him to continue on and telling them, you know, why would he try to revert He'd, them? He from? would first have to explain the law to yeah, them. Yeah, exactly, bro. That would be, chapter <laughs> 7 would be explaining the law. And then he would do this breakdown in chapter eight. If they did. Yeah, bro. Y'all, this is scary. Hold on. Scary dog. Talking to a Christian is scary. This is your brain on Christian. Talking to these people is scary hours. <laughs> it's frightening. Right? Let's go. Scary hours. <laughs> we cannot skip. No, we cannot no, skip. I'm not going to what he says. You see him jump. Maxim. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot skip. Stop at once! Pause! No, 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 no. What, 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 what is this you do to me? No, we must, we must not keep going. We have to stop. <laughs> I said the law has to be open. Wait, 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 w
is the law is showing you that you're dirty you should appreciate it and figure out what the law says to cleanse yourself yeah you should go get clean get clean what the hell is we and then go about? look back in the law and yeah. then you're not dirty exactly <laughs> stupid that's just that's just it's, it's a horrible analogy but they love analogies and they get lost in them and he doesn't realize and we're going to go over Romans 7 a second to see how lost he doesn't understand the initial analogy that he's making an analogy about. Right. He don't even understand that. Right? This is so crazy. The law, I did not look at the mirror to see. Correct. So you turn it to the mirror. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. That's not as good. No, 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 no,
Yeah, that source is called the word. So you already admitted that there is no separation between Christ and the law predicated right. upon the point the brother proved earlier. Right. So you saying that there's a source. No, you're calling Christ a mirror too. Right. You see all of this double talking you have to do? Maybe that's why he jumped out the house and put a hat on. It didn't match the rest of his outfit. Had to. <laughs> Come on, brother. That's crazy. I'm up here to teach. I'm the minister. Give me uh, Malachi Twitter. I'm the minister of God. <laughs> yes, we gotta go to Christ. Listen, 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 listen. Christ is the one that's allowing us to be able to get saved and redeemed. We don't disagree with that. But let's go to Christ's words. Yeah, I said you could say something after I was done with him. Let's just let's just do this, right? Because yeah. I just got to show this, right? This is just so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad, guys. It's horrible, right? Let's take a look. Take a look. It's in the book, right? Watch this. So it's Romans seven, and I'm gonna start at one. Um, matter of fact, you know what? Let let me give y'all the context. Right, we're gonna start at one, but I wanna, I wanna, we gotta read this with one thing in mind. 22. Verse twenty-three. But I see another law. No, no, starting at twenty-one. I find then a law that when I do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, mm -hmm. warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Mm -hmm. So to be clear, in this chapter. He's talking about two different laws, right? Right. Two different laws, the law of God right. and the law that is in his flesh, right. which is given and subject to sin that is compelled that desires to sin. Right. Oh, wretched man that I am yes. who shall deliver me from the body of this death. What is the death? Yeah. The sin. Yeah. See, this is the point that, that they never want to get to. That he's saying, he's calling, referring to two things as a law here. But they're two different things. Yeah. One is man's desire to sin. The innate sinful nature. The innate sinful nature. Yeah. And the other is God's law. Right. 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 So, even if we take a look at this analogy that Paul gives. Know you not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. How the, which is telling you that this audience is Israelites. Right? In Rome. Right, and we can go to more evidence on that, both biblically and historically. How the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he liveth. Right. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. Right. right. So that means if you're married to a woman and she dies, she can freely go and marry any man that she chooses. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Wherefore, my brethren, ye are also become dead to the law by the body of Christ. Now, this is a there's a problem with this analogy. Yeah. This is a poor analogy. Because Christ is still alive. And not only is Christ still alive, but he's likening you unto the woman, but he's telling you that you died. Yeah. But the analogy is supposed to be the husband, the husband of the woman died. Yeah. But it says. You are also become dead. Mm. Not Christ became dead. Right. You are also become dead. Yeah. So this is a poor analogy by Paul. Of course, whose Greek is not his first language. Rude right? He was rude in speech. Right? He was rude in speech, admittedly, and that's okay. Right? right? For, when, for we, when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, right. which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth the fruit unto death. What is the law in the members? But I see another law in my members, yeah. not the law of God, another law. Right. Just so you realize that, right? That's totally being ignored right now. From when we're in the flesh, the motion of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth the fruit unto death, right? But now we are delivered from the law. What? That law that's in our members. 
that being dead wherein we were healed, right. that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of letter. Then what's the newness of spirit? Yeah. Being being yeah. faithfully following the law. Yeah. Simple. God after the inward man. Like after said. the inward man exactly. with Yahweh Shai as the cornerstone. Right. Right? What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Now what law is he talking about? Right. The law of God. Right. I have not known sin but by the law, for I have not known lust except the law said thou shalt not covet. But sin taken occasion by commandment, wrought in me, again, wrought in me. Now he's referring back to the law and his members, all manner of concupiscence, for without the law, sin was dead. Right? Without that law that's working in his members, he wouldn't sin. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. Meaning that it was unbearable for me to keep the commandments because my flesh was so consumed with wickedness. For sin taken occasion by commandment deceived me, and it slew me. Yeah. Right? Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. Right. The law of God. But the one that was working in his members did not. What shall we say then is good uh, made death unto me? God forbid. But sin, that it appears sin, worketh death in me by that which is good. The sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. Meaning, I'm compelled due to this law in my members to sin. And I understand it because of what the law of God says. Right? right? And the judgments that I, that I need exactly. for my, my violations. For we know the law is spiritual. But I am carnal, sold unto sin. There's a carnal law in my members, right. and there's a spiritual law in the inward man. Again, he's making this clear. For I delight in the law after the inward man, after the spirit. But I saw another law in my members, carnal. Very simple. Right. These people don't know what the hell they're talking about, bro. They're oblivious to these things. Oblivious. Right? Let's go. <laughs> I'm about to sell up. Guys, guys, word of God. Word of God. said you're not perfect he the brother didn't even answer the question you're trying to misdirect how do you know what how the brother looked at any woman it's a married man a soon-to-be father right how how do you know right. how he's looking at any woman right the means, sir. Bro, but, 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 let's go to the point. Let's stay in the point. How do you be perfect according to the Bible? Bro, let's get started. How do you know? He's going to say something, but he's not but, done. He's not done with this no, point. Can we can't just be jumping up. You're going to speak, speak brother. I promise you. We listen, stop. Bro, listen, I promise you, you're going to speak. Uh huh? Bro, bro, let me just say bro, one thing. Bro. Bro. I love. I love so the older man. I love the older man. Bro, let me. Bro, let me. Can we can we take a bet that what's getting ready to come out of this man's it's mouth loosely. is a load of BS? So I, I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to bet at least fifty bucks on it. <laughs> yeah, if he say something mean, if I do a hundred percent, there we go. There we go. You said that we need the law in order to be saved. Is that what you said when we first got there, right? Exactly. Okay, well, listen, let me just let me finish my point. Bro, let me, let me just finish. I read the red letter. I didn't say anything. You asked me a question. I responded with the word of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Right, simple. He, it was crazy is when they start telling us what we said yeah. when we didn't say anything. We didn't say nothing. We read it. And he had something to say about it. <laughs> he eventually started talking. Y'all, man.
We can't make this up. <laughs> when we stopped here, we said we need the law to be safe. But my man is saying that it's Christ that saved us. Now here is the evidence what my man is saying. What? But wait, but Christ said that's what we need. So the evidence that Christ saved, hold on. One, I read what Christ said. Two, literally, let's just go back up a little bit. Watch this. Watch what Tazar just said. Even as you're after five allowing us to get redeemed and even follow us. Let's go to Matthew 5 and 48. The law makes the law I'm not making right. 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 Christ is the one that's allowing us to get to get redeemed and even follow us. So he just said Christ is how we get redeemed. He just said that. And Christ out of his own mouth said we have to keep the law if we are to enter into life. Right. Simple. Right. If we are to enter into life, that's what Christ said. So he now is getting ready to say, do you know how there's evidence that Christ is what saves us and not the law? Yeah. But Christ, the man that saves us, said in order to be saved, we have to keep the law. <laughs> yeah, I gave the law. This is crazy. Well, let me tell you. The, 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 the conundrum, the contradiction that you have to live in the, the, the literal state of mental retardation that you have to be in to believe in this ideology. It's, it's, it's gross. It's disgusting. It's flabbergasting how deeply deceived you have to be. And you and the deception is coming from yourself. Right. You know how crazy, you know that I didn't say anything yeah. that I read what Christ said. And now you're going to tell me that, Christ saves me absent what he said or by the guidelines that he laid out right. or by the prophetic guidelines that his father laid out before he sent him into this earth. Not prove what that man's life consisted of. Can't prove that, bro. He, See, but 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 notice, I gotta do not a damn thing. Christ, Christ literally came out his mouth and said to enter into life. Now here's the thing: he didn't tell that man on the cross that he would enter into life. Yeah. He said, "Today you will be with me in paradise." This simple brother, what's the brother name? Phil, brother Phil. Brother Phil, I'm, I'm going to show you something. When you think you got a point, you, you, you simply do not. Right, Brother Phil? Let me show you something amazing in the Bible, Brother Phil, that you don't even be knowing what you've been talking about. So Luke 23, right? The mouth. He's talking about the, the mouth factors. Yeah. Where they at? The mouth factors. Oh, he didn't come up as mouth factors. Um, and there we go. That's all. Okay. Hold on. He's talking about this. Now he said, and, and Jesus, how was I said unto them? Verily, I say unto you today, thou shalt be with me. In paradise. Right? No, it's on there. Okay. Let me cut, let me catch right here. You should be with me in paradise. Now look at this. Now watch this. Watch this. And he said unto Jesus, unto Yahweh, our Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Yahweh said unto him, Verily I say unto you, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Did he say, Today thou shalt be with me in my kingdom? Right. No, he said paradise. Two distinctive things. I'm, I'm going to show you this, right? Yeah. I just want to show you this in the, in the Greek. Can we go to Greek here for this, right? Kingdom. Strong's G, 932. Basilia. Basilia. Okay. Basilia. Okay, cool. Small. Now watch this. Paradise. Hmm. Paradiso. Strong's G, 3857. Paradisos. 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 Now let's take a look at what Paradisos is. Among the Persians, a grand enclosure or preserve, hunting ground, park, shady, and well watered, in which wild animals were kept for the hunt. It was enclosed by walls and furnished with towers. 
<laughs> this is a Persian concept adapted into the Greek language and written in a book uh, written by a Greek speaker by the name of Luke. Yeah. This does not indicate, but the, the, the differentiation in paradise and kingdom in the concurrent verses is a demonstration that he was referring to something outside of his kingdom. Yeah, exactly. What he was telling the malefactors was they would be at rest. That's what he was telling them, that they would be at rest, not they would be in his kingdom. You will be with me in paradise. Let me, let me finish, bro. But no, 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 you can't just let it. It's so insane, and this is exactly why. The the mighty priest Azar didn't give this dude an opportunity to talk, right? And and wanted to finish here because now this has totally derailed the conversation. This dude's getting destroyed. Pastor uh, Preston is getting destroyed. Dealing with Romans seven, dealing with Matthew five and forty eight, dealing with the initial scripture there in Matthew nineteen and sixteen. He's getting the floor wiped with him. He's saying a bunch of stuff, and the question really is, okay, if you are keeping the law because you've already been made righteous by Christ, why did you just eat that shrimp? Right. The question is, if you keep the law, why don't you keep the law? Simple. This dude is now making it about something else, a convoluted understanding of Scripture that is unsubstantiatable. Brother, paradise is not Christ's kingdom. Yeah. It's not. Right? Let's let's hold on. Let's just further prove it. Let's further prove it. Can we further prove it? Let's just go here. <laughs> oh, let's just go here, man. Um What is this? Revelation five and Starting nine, and they sung a new song, saying, "Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred." Talking about Christ, and tongue and people and nation, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Right. Did Christ and them other two guys go anywhere on earth? Right. Christ ascended up first, then came back to earth. Yes, right. and we know since then he's been where right seated on the right hand of the Father. Right. So they're not on earth. So earth, nothing earthly is what he was referring to. I think we could all agree on that. And his kingdom is on earth, right? Oh, that's a good line. Oh, uh, yeah. Revelation 11, 7, and the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world are be of this world oh my God. are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. So the kingdoms, all the kingdoms of this world have to be translated into the power of the Most High and his son. Of course, the Most High is laying everything in this earth under the feet of his son. Right? So... With that being said, uh, no, uh, Phil, you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. Right. And your ideology has so many flaws in it that you just thought you said something profound and you confounded. It wasn't profound. It was confound. Right. You confounded your own self. Right. <laughs> Man. Like, cut, cutting Christians has become exhausting. Know, at this that's point. a smooth, that's a smooth uh, uh, trinity cut. Too. Right. To, and, <laughs> <laughs> with our Lord and of his Christ. And of his Christ. And you yeah. pairing that with, with Revelations 5 and with Revelations 11, just going over, it's clear that this is on earth. Of course, you go to yeah. Daniel 2 as well yeah. if you want to start getting real technical with him. Yeah. Right? Hell many crowns. You know, uh, 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 that, that all the kingdoms of the world will be uh, taken down by the stone. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All that. Daniel 2. Yeah, let's go. You said the word first. Let, let me finish. I'm not even what does the paradise mean? Oh, what me, is paradise hey, mean? Me, is it a problem for me to ask what paradise oh, means? Let me see. Is it a problem? What does paradise bro, mean? Let's you're just talking. What does paradise mean? Bro, what? No, it's right let's now. Let's what go, does paradise mean? Let's go. Bro, let me just Y'all are y'all coach, man. Y'all are coach. Listen to me. What's wrong with that? What is paradise? 
Hey, the priest is asking you a clear question. Yeah, fair what clear. does it mean? You go to be see I hear his head up paradise. <laughs> you go to paradise. <laughs> what does it mean? What's paradise? That's a great question. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> hey man, <laughs> but you 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 see you see how the priest is asking the same question I asked before I even knew I ain't seen it yet. Okay. Join at Sakari.camp, man. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Join at Sakari.camp, man. Right. All praises. Listen to me. You want me to answer? Yeah, listen, listen to me. The point, bro. bro this, I, I, this man. That, that's how I count. That's how conversation helps. This man. This man went to heaven without keeping oh, the law, bro. Oh, don't say that. It don't say that, bro. Okay. Did he go to the kingdom of heaven? Watch this. this, 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 this. He went to heaven without keeping the law, bro. He like, that's, listen, that's the New York nigga that gives the other New York niggas a bad name. Because right. he talks with the super New York accent, but he's hella corny, though. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah. So he makes the other New York niggas look bad. <laughs> that that's who he is. <laughs> you see this already you put join, join. <laughs> right. Somebody put that uh email in the chat. And it's also in the description. Lord in Christ. Okay, uh 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 look at look at that what it did to me. Look at this. Okay, so he said he went to heaven. But listen, 2 Corinthians 12 and 2. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth. Such a one caught up to the third heaven. So wait a minute, he went to heaven. Which heaven? According to Paul, it's three heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Which heaven did he go to? What right. is the context of him going to heaven that day? His spirit definitely went to rest. For sure. So does everybody's spirit. It's not dialogue. You just made a derailing point. I literally was mid conversation with somebody. You jumped in the conversation and derailed it. You have the nerve to talk about and, and criticize somebody's communication skills. Yeah. You just totally disrespected the entirety of that conversation because you thought that you had a more profound point than either of the participants therein, yeah. and you didn't. You had an even worse point than your man. Preston is far more impressive right. and more skillful in the word than you, yeah. which is according to what I've seen thus far. Right. With that being said, now you're talking about what's not a dialogue. You just try to come with a mic drop, and right. I'm going to show you why it's not. And Now, I'm not dialoguing because I'm now responding to what you just said. Yeah. What? You're unskillfully handling the word. I want to demonstrate it to you. And now I'm not dialoguing even though I've let you made your point. So graciously. These people are crazy. You're not listening to me speaking the whole time. You're so fucking I heard what you just said. That's why I just asked your man if he knew what paradise was, and this is why I'm going to show you what it is now. If I wasn't listening to what you're saying, then when I read this verse, it's not going to make sense. But the problem is I'm getting the exact verse to bring clarity to the verse that you referenced to show that you have no clue what you're talking about, brother. Show me any, first off, it's Persian. It's not even in a, con it's not a concept that's Hebraic. Right. A word that, <laughs> conceptually, you're so wrong here. You're so wrong. <laughs> well, I'm 
Romans, which I did address Romans actually with Matthew 5. Yeah. But I can't address it because your man just inserted himself and changed the conversation. So don't talk to me. Check your man. Yo, my man just said there's no check your man. Right. Put your man on. He's looking bad and stupid. Right. <laughs> Get your man. Get your man's. Christ Jesus. He just brother, he just told us. Brother, you let me say, let me say brother, brother, listen to me. Your man wanted to <laughs> Exactly. Your man wanted to. I didn't address her. I wanted to. Right. Your man wanted to go. He got in the way. <laughs> he got smooth in the way. Right. Listen to me. And the man to Look at the disbelief on Tazar's face. He's in disbelief. He, He's in disbelief. Why he can't believe that this dude just said he didn't address something yeah. when this nigga just jumped in the whole thing, just around the whole conversation. <laughs> I didn't even get an opportunity. And that's your man's fault. It's totally his fault. And Paul, Paul in the New Testament told us that the law was a schoolmaster. Now he's jumped again. Yeah. You have your whole own argumentation. Then Pastor Preston. Yeah. Totally. Right? Is that the Lord does not save us? I would have wrong with you with the way up. I would have wrong with you. I, 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 he's so soft. Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm not going to lie. This is somebody's husband. Just, just, I want to just take a look. I, and, and I don't, I don't want to make this a personal attack, but yeah. I cannot help. And, and this is a, a constant talking point that we, we have said Christian, yeah. that the Christian church castrates and feminizes black men. Yeah. You know what's interesting though? It when you look at white male Christians, they're not effeminate. Yeah. yeah. Right? Not like that. They're very masculine typically. Manly. But the black Christians are effeminate. Like what's up, bro? Because this this shows you that we are in two we have two entirely different Christianities that we're in. Yeah. yeah. And the people, they call us racist. They call us that, right? But th th this religion has two, is totally segmented and segregated more than almost any other aspect of society. Yeah. And it's evident in the fruit that it produces. Right. Because this dude is totally effeminate. And the average, especially prominent black Christians, are effeminate. There's no dispute. Just, just let's take a look at these mannerisms. You're jumping. 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 you are you <laughs> Come on, man. That 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 y'all that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy, right? Yeah, uh, chill. I'm just now seeing it. Tells us though. I just saw it the first time, but um. Man, this that that's crazy what we're looking at right here. Can I be honest with y'all? That is totally insane. Um, and it's so soft. And he's like, you went somewhere else. You jumped. No, I'm on topic. I'm still discussing the topic. We're we're still building off of my first question. So you brought up Romans 7 right. after I brought up the word of Christ. Right. So if anything, you're the one that jumped. Right. But we're still on the same topic. He's now introducing 
points. Three new points. New points that are even really contrary to your points. Yeah. But that doesn't matter. As long as it's against us, it, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the, the, the femininity being displayed by this black man is 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 it's sad. And but this is what those black Christian introdu- uh, institutions produce. Right. They effeminize, um, they emasculate, they are very um detrimental to many brothers, manhood. Um that's why there's so many people seeking people to instruct and lead them in manhood now, especially amongst our people. Right. That's one of the main reasons because the the institutions that we did have didn't crank out men. Right? Not at all. Well, let's keep going. Where did I go? 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 I went to the scripture before you went to Rome, so you're lying on me right now. Where did I go? We stayed on Romans. I wrote down Romans. We stayed on no. It's not gaslight. That's not gaslighting. I'm not creating an alternate reality and trying to convince you it's the truth. I, in fact, started in Matthew. You, and I started in Matthew. I reinforced Matthew with Deuteronomy. You yeah. then went to Romans. I went back to Matthew. Right. That I'm not recreating your reality and trying to convince you. Right. That's what gaslighting would be. The hell are you talking about, bro? Right. Right. But he lo- he wanted to use that gaslighting. Yeah. Man. He just want to use you know why? Words, <laughs> you know why? Yeah. Because he's effeminate. Exactly. Right. <laughs> gaslighting. Well, that's what the black woman would do when you're beating exactly her in an argument. You're gaslighting. you're gaslighting. That's exactly what she'll say. Oh, 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 oh. oh, not today, not today. <laughs> what scripture did I go to? Since I went to another scripture when you were breaking out Romans 7, right? right? right. What scripture? I didn't go to no Colossians. Well, you're literally like, you're on camera. I'm not lying. lying. Like, I'm like, like, you said what? what? Hey, oh, what scripture did I go to? Since I went to another scripture when you were breaking out Romans 7, right? right. What scripture? I didn't go to no... His, his wrist, they're so fractured, man. Why he do that, though? Such a waste of a black man. And it, and it's so sad. It's so disheartening. It's so discouraging. Um, And I, I, I really don't want to make it personal. Right. I don't. But I can't help it's like that. It's not your fault, bro. It's it, institution. It, it, it's that, that institution yeah. has just has truly castrated you, man. You can't hear me? Oh. They couldn't for a second. We good now. Look at that right there. And then look at this tall nigga acting like he finna come and play bodyguard for him. Yeah. He got a cape on, you know, for soft cut right here. Yeah. And brother, listen, uh, there, uh, there, there, there is. Uh, uh, an ex an ex marine vet Jamaican yeah. and a Zoe yeah. right on security right now okay. that you don't want to deal with. Okay. okay, trust and believe you me. Okay, this guy who keeps moving his hand out, he's Haitian and Mexican. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's Haitian and Mexican. All right, <laughs> I don't think that's the tree you want to bark up, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my God, let's go. I didn't go to no Colossians. You're literally like, you're on camera. I'm not lying. lying. Like, like, you said what? With the Matthew, right? You said I'm with the Matthew? Yeah. But that's after the fact. He spoke. He said that. Oh, my God. Did you, oh, my God. Did you, did you, you talk about Romans 7? You said what? Did you talk about Romans 7? Yes, we talked about you and no, Romans 7. Okay. I, I Let's Romans go to verse 7. Let's go to verse 7. I, I go to verse 7. I, I go to verse 7. And you with the Matthew. Go to Romans verse 7. I wrote I Go to verse 7, verse 7. Go to Romans verse 7, verse 7. I did. I broke it down. I don't know. Read it. No, you didn't. You didn't go to verse 7. No, you didn't. That's a lie. Again. And then you didn't explain what verse 1 means. No, no, I didn't. You didn't explain what verse 1 means. Explain being found. Let me explain. And what do and this is like I ask you a question, right? In America, you can divorce this woman at any time, right? right but then he just said, in the, they got the door. Let me finish. And then he just said that, that, that she can't leave unless her husband died. Right. That's not in America. So where is it talking about? Where is that law at? Wait, wait. No, no, no. That's a good question. Where is that law at? Because in America, you can divorce your woman. You can marry her at 12 million, right? Wait, 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 no, you can divorce her no, 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 at 1 million. Wait, wait, where does that law come from? The law comes from the first five books of the Bible. Wait, can we talk about that? So this is where it picks up at. Yeah. And I think it possibly can conveniently pick up there. Yeah. Because the narrative is being spun that this brother is not giving people allowance to speak. Yeah. 
we've clearly seen right. that this has been nearly a 20 minute dialogue and he's given him plenty of allowance to speak even when it was really unreasonable to grant the request plenty. um plenty of room to talk yeah. and they still aren't proving their points and they're contradicting their own points and one another's points but I think very divisively this particular segment of the footage from their perspective is what they posted, of course, to push a narrative. But praise the Lord, of course, we got all the footage that now we can examine. And, of course, I'm commentating now soon. I'm sure sometime this week um, Sakari Miami will have this published for you guys to see uninterrupted in its totality. Everybody be quiet. <laughs> that was so sassy. That was the sassiest shut a nigga up I've ever heard in my life. Everybody be quiet. <laughs> I'm Pastor P. And everybody better be quiet. Everybody better be quiet. I'm Pastor P. Diddy. And, ooh, Salaki. <laughs> so what law is he talking about? Wait, okay. So can I explain without you interrupting? Oh, I did that. Let me look up right now. Everybody be quiet. I'm going to explain. First of all, first of all, for you to ask a question that was written in a different century in the I see why his wife has a million 1. more followers 3. than him. <laughs> for a purpose. <laughs> That's who they're following. Okay, they're not following Perry. Yeah. Uh, Preston Perry, Preston okay? Perry. <laughs> Pastor Preston Perry. <laughs> Pushing Pete. In, in the Eastern part of the world, it's all automatically uh, out of contextualization. Ask a question. He's like a mug. His voice done gotten... <laughs> So much less mask. Wow, bro. Wildly, because his emotions are involved. So he's so you know. He's real. He'll go that. That, yeah. that, P, that P coming out. Yeah. <laughs> not P I M P. A different P. He's pushing a different kind of P. You feel me? <laughs> All Diddy. That was written in a different century in the East and in the Eastern part of the world. In a, in a Western part of the world. Right. right. It's automatic. The concepts of marriage institutions that are followed in America today come from the place where Paul wrote this letter, yeah. Rome, the wedding ring that you got down on one knee and gave to your wife. Right. That comes from Rome. The standardization of monogamy, the standardization and the uh, legal mandation of monogamy come from Rome. Right. The concept that Paul is talking about is marriage. Right. So there's nothing Eastern about where this letter was written. The only reason why these people would have an Eastern concept of marriage is if they were followers and familiar with the law. Hence why Paul says, I speak to those that know the law. Right. Which would prove that they have this familiarity and they are following the same law that you're saying that this chapter is trying to take the obligation from them to follow. Yeah, that you're so caught up in your emotions, you're so feminine that you're missing like you arguing with certain women. Right? They're to they totally miss the point. Yeah. They are so emotionally caught up on their point right. that when you come with the logic, they miss it because yeah. they are too dedicated to their point. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't get over the zest. I Everything can't. Do, I can't. Remember the soap. Listen. Hold on. 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 There you go. Hold on. 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 Hold the <laughs> Grapefruit, <laughs> lime peel. He, he, he got the lime peel on it, like you said. <laughs> he didn't he said, lime peel. He said that good. <laughs> lime peel. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 Hold on, and I didn't even peep like Mr. St like Mr. Stewart just said. He's got a merch. Hold on. How did I? He, oh, he does. 
He does. <laughs> he got the merch, the man purse. The oh, my God. The merch. <laughs> <laughs> he's in a hey, he had a merch under the picture though. He's smart. Uh, he's, he's hanging off the left shoulder over there. Where is that? Uh, he's hanging off the shoulder. I don't see it. It ain't it. That's just, just his shirt. <sighs> there it is, right here. Here it is. <laughs> There's the merch. You keep it out. There's, there's, there's the merch. Do you see those? Do you see what's on his feet? Do you see what's on his feet? Man? Yeah, yeah. I, I hate to make this personal, man, but I, I, I got to, I, I question your masculinity, bro. You, have you rendered me no choice but to do that, man. Freaky kid. <laughs> Overzip. Pearl is automatically uh, out of contextualization. Wait, 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 wait
You'll follow Christ, right? What is the follow Christ? You gotta follow the footsteps, right? Christ follows. Yeah, okay. I just, you see how emotional, look at the emotional outburst of this dude. This is what Christianity produces, emotional, effeminate brothers. And this is why, if for no other reason, you need to escape the cult of Christianity. Because look what it's doing to you. Look at the love of self-control. Is, 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 you mean to tell me Brother Phil here is exhibiting fruits of the Spirit, pursuant to the standards in which Paul brings forth? Right? Is it fruit of spirit? Now, he, he wrote about this here in Galatians, right? Uh, Galatians 5 and 22, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So is is he showing temperance here? Let's take a look. And, 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 and you know you know what they'll try to say. Well, what are you guys doing? Hold on. You guys, this is what you guys believe. Yeah. You you don't can't get bailed out on not following what you believe. Right. Right? You believe in the authoritative uh uh God inspired nature of the, the epistle to Galatia. Right. That's what you believe in. So you don't get to flip that on us. You don't get to and if we were, it doesn't excuse you. Right? right? Come on, you're supposed to follow this, regardless of what anybody else around you is doing. But the word temperance means self-control. The virtue of one who masters his desires and passions, especially his sensual appetites. Where is your self-control? Where is your self-control? Right? Um, are you being long-suffering, brother? You're not long-suffering. Hold on. Uh, long-suffering, patience, endurance, co uh, constancy, steadfastness, perseverance. Uh, perseverance, rather, patience, forbearance, long-suffering, slowness in avenging wrongs. Where is that? You're not displaying that. Gentleness. Are you being gentle right now? No. Moral goodness, integrity, dignity, kindness. You're not exemplifying these things, bro. Let's Let's see if he answers the question. God, these guys are so zesty, man. It's so much zest. Tazar has already introduced himself. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro. What's your name? I have an idea which might help us. After I get done with my points, and you say, man, he got done with his whole point, and he asked my question, then you hold me accountable. But in the first five seconds, and you say, I didn't ask you a question, that's not fair to me. You didn't do that. Wait, you did. You did. You're on it now. Let's do it. Christian, I keep the law. It is the difference between keeping the law and keeping the law in order to be 
communicate righteousness. There it is. That is the difference. There it is. Let me, let me break it down to you. There it is. I don't keep the law to be made righteous. Right. I keep the law because, because I have been made righteous. Right. Right. It's the difference. Right. That's what you don't understand. Right. But Jesus Christ came into our life as our personal Savior. He empowers us to keep the law. And so me keeping the law is not me trying to be made righteous. Right. It's evidence. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Like bro said, he's having a sermon. Is this even fair? Is this even fair? But because this is all they know how to do. He's, he calls himself an apologist. You're not an apologist. You just want to lecture uninterrupted and not be challenged. And when you're challenged, deviate and misdirect. It, it, I mean, it's a it's a very typical Christian shuffle. Me keeping the law. Wait, wait, wait. I, he, he didn't answer my question. No, wait, I'm about to do it. I didn't get done with my point. Patience, bro. Me keeping the Patience. law. Fruit it's, not, it's, not, it's not because I'm trying to be made righteous. Me keeping the law is evidence that I'm being made righteous. Right. It's evidence that I'm being made righteous. Right. Me keeping the law is worship. And so and so and so what happens is when somebody accepts Jesus Christ as their as the, as the personal Savior, He empowers us to live holy, right? And so this is the reason why Jesus came on your behalf, right? Because the, the problem was never the law. The problem was that, that we, you, and nobody in this world was, wasn't good enough to keep it. And so somebody had to come and keep it perfectly on your behalf. And so when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, who kept the law perfectly for you, so nobody right, 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 he has you. Wait, wait, wait. wait no. What we're not going to do is God in the Bible. So Christ is the only person that's perfect in the, in the scripture? He's the only one that kept the law perfectly. No, that's what Luke 25. It's too easy. Through the spirit and power, y'all by Shemir Abishai. It's too easy. And like the brother Ahaziah just said. So exactly when is he finished? Because <laughs> he just keeps talking. Exactly when is he finished? <laughs> Christ Jesus. Let's go. Luke 25. Let's see how you are lying. You don't know the Bible. Because you're just lying. You just pick you to talk all the time. Bro, and you're not telling anything. That's Christ, your problem. If, if Christ was not the only one, Christ was not the only one who died. I'm about to show you, brother. You, you just talk right now. You just talk right now. You see, you're just talking. You're just talking. You're just talking. I'm literally gonna go to the Bible. What? You told me that I said you had to keep the law to be saved, but no, Christ said it. I just read it. Yeah. I'm going to just read it again. He's trying everything in his power for the book not to come out. I'm in Luke, the same book that you came and introduced into this conversation about paradise, and you still ain't told me what paradise means. Right. <laughs> come on. Could anyone not have God's point? Let's see what he I try to just read. Read, read, read. Look at him screaming over the world. Can anyone, nigga, I'm about to show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. Bill? You like he said like he just had to pat him on the show. Just listen, man. Because guess what? <laughs> this guy, Preston, I think he went and looked and saw that scripture and said, <laughs> now he's trying to <laughs> you just shut up, okay? Because they got this one. I got to see how we're going to tap dance out of this one. <laughs> but for what? Right this. No, so right. It's not destroying your face of righteousness. Right. You know? But for God, uh -huh. walking in all the commandments. Walking in what? In all, all the, the commandments. Walking in all the commandments. Read. And ordinances. Uh-huh. Of the Lord. Read. Blameless. The roof is on fire. What? Blame what this nigga said. <laughs> what this nigga said. What this nigga said. <laughs> <laughs> Me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's there. He's there. Hey, now look. It's been 25 minutes of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs>
said you're just talking the only person who is called for the reading when this dude uh uh uh, uh he he uh, uh preston right pastor on. preston yeah. he called for Romans seven he read it like the first two verses of Romans. Seven. okay yeah one verse the other guy feel he mentioned one verse right mentioned didn't read it mentioned it tazar has read several yeah. bible verses yeah matthew 19 Deuteronomy 18, yeah. uh, Matthew 5, yeah. uh, uh, Matthew 5, 48, Luke 1, he just read. Yeah. Who's been reading the Bible verses? This dude is saying that he's just talking. No, you've been just running your mouth yeah. more than anybody up there, even more than your boy Preston, because Preston's words has had more substance than yours. Yeah, they, yeah I think he tried to quote uh, Colossians about the schoolmaster. Or Galatians about oh, yeah, he tried to say, it's a schoolmaster. Yeah. Okay, now I'm babbling. I just read a Bible verse and I'm standing on what it says. Now I'm babbling. D d d this is rudimentary tactics that they're employing here. Rudimentary. <laughs> Look, 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 he's trying, they're trying to pull him out. They're trying to pull him out. You just got destroyed. Yeah. And and all Tazar wants is an admittance that somebody is wrong. Somebody needs to say that they're wrong. Yeah. Phil, I believe, is who he's looking to get to admit that they're, he's wrong. Y'all yeah. can't even do that. Y'all not, not, not here, y'all not in the right? He's saying, he said that nobody but Christ kept all the commandments, right? We get we get You read that in context. You read it how it's the sixth verse of that chapter bro. it's the sixth verse of that chapter Luke he, read one. he read it out of context okay so let, let's 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 read the full context it's gonna get worse it's gonna get worse yeah for as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us even as they were delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. Right. Meaning, here's the history of the life of Jesus Christ. Right. As it has been delivered for me, told to me by eyewitnesses, by eyewitnesses. that were there from the start. Yeah. That's what he said. It seemed good me, to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write, the, write unto thee in order, most excellent Theophilus. He made a documentary for a man by the name of Theophilus, yeah. predicated upon all the immense amount of rich eyewitness testimony yeah. that he is declaring that he has been bestowed. Yeah. That thou mightest know cert the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. This is all a documentary to reemphasize that you have been instructed properly. Yeah. The next verse is where we start at. How is it? This is literally the beginning of the context. Yeah, yeah. How is it out of context? <sighs> you you have the, been the only person to abuse the tech the context of anything because the context of Romans one is two different law Romans seven rather is two different laws. Right. That's the context of Romans seven. There are two different laws, and you're taking the law that's about wickedness in the flesh and applying it to righteousness in the spirit. Yeah. All the while you're doing that, you're alleging that you keep the law. You're maintaining that because Christ has made you righteous, you are an upholder of the law, yet you are a breaker of the law. I don't, I, I, I just don't understand. But this is what Christians will have always tried to do. When all else fails, say that something's out of context. Yeah. That's all they can, and you know, you, he's not reading, he doesn't know how to read contextually. Verse 5, again, <laughs> we're looking here, y'all. Look, look at this. 
You see when it says this, the birth of John the Baptist foretold, and this this marker and this title is telling you this is a new context. Yeah. So verse 5, where it started, to verse 6, this is literally the beginning of the context. There's nothing else that needs to be factored in before it. Right. Nothing. Right. The king of Judea. Yes, sir. His name is he said, there's no writing, there's, no, there's just writing, there's no teaching, but you literally had a problem when he requested that you break it down line by line and verse by verse in Romans 7. Hypocrisy. Yeah. But this, this is who, these are the people who God is dealing with. <laughs> yeah, had a problem with breaking it down. And he said, no, line. wait till I'm done. Yeah. But here's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Tazar just read it and broke it down line by line. Yeah. Now he's reiterating it. So yeah. he's actually already done it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is, this is, when Akim told me this was bad, I knew it was bad, but watching it, this is bad. Yeah. This is really bad. Yeah. Christianity is down bad. Perry, you ain't got it, bro. Yeah, bring up my bro, he's reading. <laughs> this whole ass nigga feel, he's reading it out of context. You only saying that because your man said that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you cannot, okay. Like I always say, when, when somebody accuses me of taking something out of context, okay, put it in context. The yeah. floor is yours. Yeah. Put it in context. Yeah. Go ahead. Be my guest. And you know what they do? Remember remember what Edomat did? He was reading it. He was like, okay, I can't say it's out of context. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. He's, it is exactly what he said, good. Is that what he said? You put the ball in their court, cause they gonna fumble, cause <laughs> they don't know what to do with the ball. Fumble, cause they do not know what to do with the ball. Smooth fumble, cause I get the likes up, man. Yeah, get, get them likes up. That's lies. Give that back. You don't even know what's on the the literature. He's teaching now. No, you don't. Don't tell me you respect me, man. You don't. You 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 blatantly disrespect me with your actions. See, this is this is a beautiful verse that the Most High has just put me in such such remembrance of, um, <coughs> of late. Right. Look at this. I want to read it in NLT because it it hits it hits so much better in the NLT. Hold on. No, no, not the narrow white gates. Hold on. No, 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 no. Uh. This is crazy. No. No, it's got to be Matthew 7. Right here, yeah, tree and his fruit. This one, uh-huh. Watch this in NLT. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep but are really vicious wolves. Watch this. This is this is the key here. Watch this. You can identify them by their fruit. That is by the way they act. So how do we know who a ravenous wolf is? When we examine their actions. Your actions just displayed to me blatant disrespect. It doesn't matter what you said out of your mouth, though you're trying to appear as a harmless sheep. Oh, God bless you, bro. I respect you. You just literally disrespected me that's why we got to watch people and analyze people on their actions and the things that they do right now i never heard of that uh nameless one um that's what you not what they say what they do that even goes back into let's go here go let's go here if you're not following uh Gorilla Hebrew on Instagram. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Join the 14,000 other people. 
Uh, what I gotta do? Put an ad on there or something? I should be already on here though. Yeah. Okay. Right. This this uh, reel I dropped earlier. The mistake of getting with a girl and all they do is talk. They want to talk about the information. That's it. Talk, 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 talk. And you can get a girl talking. You can't have her talking. You see what I'm saying? It's a major difference between getting her and having her. We understand that, right? So you can get her by talking, but you cannot have her by talking if the words don't match the action, if your life don't match the message, right? Like Dre always say, man, she's going to be, man, this nigga full of it, man. She's going to figure that out. She's going to lose her interest, and she's going to be looking for the next train smoking. So the issue is people get, and they're so excited about the information. Here you go talking her ear off about some information that you haven't even fully applied to your life, and you haven't been able to exemplify. So once you embody that message, now when you find her, and now you can show you're exactly who you say you are, that's when it all starts making sense because the message is matching the man. So that's all I wanted to say. All praise. So like yeah, the message got to match, man. Yeah. The, it, 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 it's got to match. The actions got to match the words. You cannot tell me you respect me right after you disrespect me. So like it, right as you're disrespecting As you're. You don't even allow me to come to a point. Yeah. You told me that I wasn't teaching as I taught. Yeah. You First you told me I wasn't teaching right after I got done teaching. Then I reiterated the teaching. Right. And you told me I wasn't teaching. And then you began to tell me how much you respect me and you want God to bless me as you abruptly in the conversation when it's not mutual. After you just told me I'm babbling and I don't know how to teach. I don't know how to read contextually. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about right after. That's now, Christianity, bro. Now you just got hella respect. Just magically. <laughs> Magical respect, and you out of here. <laughs> I'm literally reading the Bible. I got, I got somebody reading the Bible, and I'm trying to explain it, and you're looking away from me, telling somebody how much I, I, I feel and contextually teaching the Bible. It's all, it's all Completely it's old, it's old people that what, what we're pushing is a, lie, is a lie, and he hasn't even examined the literature. But you respect us. You, uh, you, it, if if we're pushing, like, you shouldn't respect us. What are we talking about? Imagine we pull up on some Christians preaching the gospel, quote unquote, and we do this and we pimp off, telling them they, they information false, mm. so we will get crucified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they can we do it to us. We respect off, you. And we they respect you. Like we Look, the ones switching. <laughs> it's cool. I I sent to Cam Nazarak the other day. The video I think somebody sent to me of a bunch of white Christians bowing down before black Christians yeah. and begging for forgiveness for slavery. And I said, damn, it's, a pro it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when they got bow downs from a bunch of white Christians in unison, beg literally begging for forgiveness. On the yeah, it was on Instagram. And I sent it to Captain Zark, and I'm like, man, they try to demonize us for doing it. And you know, the most recent one to go viral was them. But you know, all the camps we've gone viral for, for, yeah, for bow for down. Yeah. Like the second, well, what, the first video I seen on Worldstar was the one that brought me the truth. But the, the next Israelite video on Worldstar was a bow down. Yeah. Was about this Edomite was just licking the hell out of a bunch of Tims. I think Collins was looking. I didn't look. No See, I'm not, I'm not a nigga that goes to the comments. <laughs> oh, I rarely go to the comments. <laughs> I know a lot of people go to the comments. I don't even go to the comments <laughs> usually. <laughs> the comments are key. Yeah, I, I gotta find it. If the comments is for them for getting them bow downs, this is insane. I ain't never seen it like that. <laughs> no, if they, no, like giving them cahoots. <laughs> hey, we gonna react to it. Fire emojis. <laughs> Forget that'd be crazy. The crown, they can hit the crown of Moses. <laughs> <laughs> what a bad I don't ass. see that happening, but that if that really happened in that conversation, <coughs> I'm gonna be confused. It's a rum, the one that sent it to me. Okay. Okay, somebody said they didn't have to do all that. Okay. Uh. Somebody saying reparations, get off your knees, get reparations. <laughs> get reparations, though. Yeah, to get uh, off your knees and give us some money. I ain't even heard that. Frankly. Somebody said vengeance is not ours, so that wrath is coming no matter what. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, the majority of people are not, don't have a problem with it at all. Yeah. But for, but for some reason, from, from what I'm ascertaining from those comments, the, that's not a, a bunch of Christians in the comments. Yeah. It's not. It's not. What's going on?
He just told that man he doesn't have a teaching gift. And then look look how feminine he was. What? You are a little hypocrite. Don't even talk about it. You are an activist. You don't have a teaching gift. When you see you, I like it. I like it. You don't have a teaching gift. You see how zesty that was? He's a far better teacher than you. Just look at that. You are a hypocrite. You are a little hypocrite. Don't even talk about it. You are an activist. You don't have a teaching gift. When you see you, I like it. That he's literally a woman at this point. He's broken everything down that he's written. Yeah, he's he's hurt right now. Look at his hands. Yeah, is that did you disrespect us by interrupting our conversation? This is a book of Ezekiel, chapter three and verse five. For thou art not sick to a people of a strange seat. The simple Negro in America. He was cutting his own stuff, he always understand. Right? It don't even make no sense. That's what's wrong with our people. Our people will do anything to sin against the Lord. He literally just said, there's nothing wrong with the law. Why are you not keeping the law, sir? Why you can't even answer? That's what's wrong with our people. Our people will do anything to sin against the Lord. He literally just said, there's nothing wrong with the law. Why are you not keeping the law, sir? Why you can't even answer? I literally gave him five minutes to answer the question. He couldn't even answer it, bro.